humanity has never faced this intensity of uh, you know, um, problems at a societal level in terms of how humans will adapt to these challenges. So when I talk about economic uncertainty, the reason economic uncertainty and social cohesion go together well is when you have this level of economic certainty in history, we have revolution. And so we have to make a choice. Either we, with purpose, reframe the way we think about economics, politics, and, um, you know, uh, society's organizing principles, or revolution will bring about the change that we, we need to do. So um, this book really was about um, how we adapt to these changes at a societal level and what we can learn from the past and, you know, and, and what are our choices or options. The book is more a, a book about the philosophy of humanity. What is the purpose of humanity? And, you know, and are we organizing for that sort of philosophical future? Um, so, you know, like you can look at Aristotle, Aristotle said the purpose of humanity was to thrive, um, you know, but um, we can own, you know, Aristotle concluded as have many others that we can only thrive when we work together as a species. So when you look at the most successful, um, you know, periods of human history, it's where there's high level of cooperation, um, you know, at, at a societal level. So think about the Apollo space program, um, you know, building the Great Wall of China, the Human Genome Project, or even most recently the creation of the uh, COVID vaccines. Um, you know, these are times when humanity has come together with purpose and we've achieved incredible things. But philosophically, the real problem we have right now is the way we think about the economy and the way we think about, um, you know, how economy should work. So capitalism is the primary doctrine globally, um, but capitalism is based on competition. Um, competition with each other at a corporation level, at a market level, at a, a national level. Um, and that co cooperation, sorry, that competition rather, is suboptimal from the purpose of solving the sort of problems that humanity is going to face. It's no good having artificial intelligence regulation in one market. Right? We need a global take on that. It's no good having a national climate change policy if everyone else is not acting in accord with, with those principles. We need global coordinated action. Um, the good news is that if we apply artificial intelligence and the advances we're having in technology, then we can bring about incredible advances in resource allocation, reducing the cost of government and reducing the cost of basic services to humanity so that the economy really becomes aligned with the purpose of caring for citizens first and foremost, rather than looking after markets and corporations as a primary goal.